The government of Uganda is now operationalizing catchment-based integrated water resource management throughout the country after studies revealed that unguided usage of resource compromises future consumption and will require a lot of environmental cleaning. This means it will be very expensive in future to avail water to an ever-growing population. The increased demand for water for domestic, agricultural, environmental services and industrial use, the ever-increasing population is putting the water resources management in the country to question. Studies done by the Ministry of Water and Environment indicate that there is decreasing availability of water in most parts of the country due to increased destruction of water catchments and ecosystems surrounding the open water bodies. As the activities of man on land and water intensify to answer the ever-growing human needs, the country is exposed to land and rangeland degradation, resulting into loss of soil fertility, increasing land conflicts, drought, floods, soil erosion, and poor waste management, among others. There is forest landscape degradation and loss of biodiversity as a result of bush burning, massive tree carting, poor farming practices, and encroachment on protected areas. We see surface water resources degradation characterized by scarce water resources, river banks degradation, siltation of streams and swamps, and water pollution. And we have climate hazards every year. Floods, drought, and communities are on a leaning curve on how to cope with such catastrophes. We are bordering a district, or actually districts, both Napak and then Kotido, with significantly low rainfall patterns. So in dry seasons, my, our brothers come in to compete with us on the limited waters that we gather from the hills. and So it makes it really hard. Given this scenario, the government is seeking to improve the management of water resources and is now operationalizing the water management zones and the entire deconcentration of the water management in the country. Basically, it's a holistic approach where we are looking at all water resources in totality. Surface, groundwater, blue water, grey water. We are looking at stakeholders. We are mindful of the sustainability of the water resources.